The new MOBA on the block made by Valve called Deadlock is now out of the shadows and we can talk about it. I wanted to share my number one tip after playing about 10 hours of the game so far and also coming from someone which has played MOBAs for over 10 years now. Now straight into it, the number one thing is soul collecting. In Deadlock, souls are your form of experience as well as your in-game currency. This is really making it easier for newer players to MOBAs or just simplifying instead of having these two things you're really focusing on one which is collecting souls. Comparing it to other games like League of Legends where you're managing your experience and leveling up by killing minions and being part of the action essentially and then also by last hitting and killing enemy champions to earn money. Here in Deadlock they've really just put both of these aspects into the one thing which is collecting souls and just to show how important soul collecting is you can really tell by the end of game screen and seeing how many souls are collected by the winning team compared to the losing team. Majority of the time, the team with more souls will take over the game and win that game. Okay, so now for the actual tips, these are gonna be pretty basic and there will still be a fair bit for me to learn in this game, so, but let's get into it. Try and conserve ammo. In this very first game that I played, you can see that I'm unloading my ammo onto the minions or these little dudes, and then I'm not having enough ammo to confirm the soul. So when souls pop out, the enemies can actually shoot them and you can actually shoot the enemies like that to deny the other half of that soul essentially. Example, when I kill this unit, he drops 38 souls and then once I shoot the soul that's come out of him, I gain another 38. So essentially both you and your opponents can deny soul collection. So really early on in the game, you wanna be trying to deny as many souls as you can from your enemy as well as confirming as many as you can. Another way to confirm getting a soul is just to melee the unit. This will not let the soul fly up into the air, you'll just confirm it straight away. Now with players, a lot more souls will fly out of them compared to the little dudes. So very crucial for you to confirm them if you are in a 2v2 lane compared to just a 1v1, as well as this comes into play later on with team fighting. You wanna make sure that you're securing the souls so you get the extra currency. This also comes into play when your teammates fall. So then you have the ability to deny half the souls that the enemy's gonna receive. So very crucial that you are keeping tabs on your teammates as well as your enemy's health bars to make sure that if they're gonna go down that you can stop the enemy from gaining a lot more souls. Now, early on in the game, when your troopers have pushed up to the first guardian, you don't really wanna push too far up and get targeted by the guardian. So now's a good time to sit back and try your best to deny your troopers' souls being confirmed by your enemy. This will just means you're playing a little bit more safe and you're not gonna get flanked or ganked by another enemy player. When there are not many troopers around, that's when you wanna try and prioritize trading with your enemy and getting some shots onto them to try and reduce their health. But definitely try and focus priority on soul collecting because if you gain more souls faster, that means you're gonna level up and also buy better stuff at the shop and come back stronger going into the next fight against your opponent. Now, all that is pretty much for the early game. The main things that you really need to keep in mind later on so mid game and late game, it's just to keep collecting souls. <laughs> it's a pretty simple one, but your mind can really stray away from it. If your team keeps going in for these team fights and long battles, always have a good look at your mini map and see if there's a lane that there's no one in there so you can go in and be able to collect souls. Especially if you died a lot in the early part of the game, the only real way that you're gonna come back into the game is by going into the lanes that no one else is in and just quickly farm as many souls as you can and then run away. By doing that, you should be able to weave your way back into a game. Now, I know this might sound a bit simple for even players like myself, but even in League of Legends, after playing that for so many years, I always have to keep tabs on how much money I'm accumulating throughout the game, because at the end of the day, that's how strong you will become, is based on how much wealth you are able to use. Especially in pro League of Legends, they always reference how much gold each team has, because that really determines how strong a team is at that point in time. So far, Deadlock has some really good in-game information, especially at the end of the game, seeing the graphs and stuff. So I recommend at the end of each game, try and see how well you're doing collecting souls compared to your teammates and the opponents. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This is just a very basic fundamental point 
that I think they gloss over too easily in the tutorial for the game. Now, if you guys are watching this and I've missed something that can help other players, please leave a comment in the comment section down below. And if this video has helped you out, please drop us a like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Big Bodza and I'll catch you in the next one.